We're going to talk about the first grouping of gifts, which are the revelation gifts. So let's get started. Let's talk about the word of wisdom. It is a supernatural impartation of a piece of wisdom, of God's infinite wisdom. And it can be used for many things. It can be used to solve a problem. It can be used to know what course of action to take, what decisions to make. It can, it can reveal something about what's coming up in the future. It can be used to release creative, artistic, scientific, intelligent expression of concepts and ideas. Let's look at a few examples. Think about Joseph who interpreted Pharaoh's dreams. Think about David. You see that the Holy Spirit came on David. And he designed the temple that Solomon was going to build. But what are some of the day-to-day -day operations you and I would, can experience and give the word of wisdom? Again, there's not a complete list. One would be in counseling. Let's say you're talking to somebody. It could be in the ministry of the word. When you're preaching and teaching the word. In interpreting dreams. Solving business and workplace problems. Deciding about the future. Uh, or coming up with a design in any field. Creating solutions in any field. Uh, how, how is a word of wisdom received? How do you actually get this happening? Uh, some of the things I've experienced very often is a quickening of the scripture. Suddenly a verse, uh, a portion of scripture, something out of scripture just comes alive. Sometimes it comes to knowing inside. Sometimes you may see a word, words or sentences. Sometimes it could be inspired, unpremeditated speaking. You start talking and all of these wisdom words start coming out. There are times God speaks through dreams and visions. Angels can, can appear like they did to Daniel, Joseph and Paul, bringing a message and telling them what to do. Now when you receive a word of wisdom, how do you share it? First of all, do not force, compel, or demand action from somebody. When you give a word of wisdom, clarify and encourage perseverance and diligence that is required. You're not under pressure to convince others to agree. Just, you've done, be faithful to release that word. Let's talk about the gift of the word of knowledge. It is an impartation of a peace. Again, a piece of God's infinite knowledge. Word of knowledge is a piece of information about the past or the present. How can this word of knowledge be used? Like I said, number one, it's to let people know that they are known and loved by God. It can help solve a problem. Maybe finding what is lost. Maybe finding, revealing what's causing a loss in an organization. It can bring conviction and repentance by lovingly addressing areas of sin and uh, compromise. Uh, it can reveal something that's happened in the past that's affecting the present. So how is a word of knowledge received? You will hear or see words, sentences, or information. Uh, hearing, seeing words, sometimes come through inner impression. Sometimes it comes through pictures and images. You see something happening. Sometimes it will come as physical sensation. Something that you personally experienced. And through inspired utterances, sometimes through dreams. God can reveal words of knowledge through angel messengers. Sometimes God can remind you of a personal experience. Or somebody else that you know. Now how do you share a word of knowledge? Be loving and gentle in what you share. Be clear and specific as what is being revealed to you. Then validate. So ask people, is it right? Take risks out of love for people. Be willing to make yourself feel like a fool. It's okay. And it's okay to make mistakes. We are all learning how to hear accurately from God. Let's talk about discerning of spirits. Now this is very interesting. The word discern means two things. Discern means to see into. Discern also means to tell the difference between good and bad. Discern. What are some operations to recognize the real source of the problem uh, when you're ministering to people? Uh, recognize true and false ministers. Uh, the spirit of truth, spirit of error. And when you're listening to teaching, uh, recognizing what God is doing in the realm of the spirit. And then so you position yourself. I know God is moving like this. I need to get in there. Or the opposite. You recognize what the devil is doing. I know that the enemy is planning to an attack in this area. He's coming, going to come against us in this area. So how do you receive this, this the gift of descending, descending of spirits? Just a few more thoughts here. It could come as a check in your spirit. It could be a sense of joy and fellowship in the spirit. Knowing that a certain kind of spirit is operating. Sometimes it could be words or words of the different kind of spirit. You see those words. Deal with this spirit. Deal with that spirit. Sometimes it's a visual that shows what is happening. And you begin to act according to it. How do you release what is received through the discerning of spirits? You know, sometimes God gives this to you because he wants you to avoid further interaction with people that you've been alerted to. You may need to be walk away from the company of certain people. Sometimes you may need to take authority of the kinds of spirits that are operating. God shows you, deal with these kinds of spirits. That these are the kinds of spirits that are actually troubling this person. Or sometimes you may need to stop from progressing further. So I encourage you, please, use these things. Okay, It's not for intellectual knowledge that we're doing this on Sunday. It's to equip all of us.